humans only have one ending. Get that for me! Ideas live forever. Welcome to David Dave's Take. Yes, we are finally here. The biggest movie week of the year. The first film we're going to talk about is Barbie, starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, and it was directed by Greta Gerwig. Barbie suffers a crisis that leads her to question her world and her existence. There is an enormous amount of hype around this film. This film has been in production for a very long time. They've jumped around who's going to be cast as Barbie. They didn't know who's going to direct the film. They've been trying to make this movie for a long time because Barbie is such an iconic product. Everyone knows what Barbie is. You have to be living under a rock if you don't know what Barbie is, if you've never picked up a Barbie doll. Honestly, I'm surprised that they're just making this film just now. And not even just that, Barbie is very important to a lot of people, especially girls. When I went to my screen tonight, the theater was filled with pink. Everyone was dressed in pink and it was fucking awesome. But the reason I bring that up is because there are so many expectations for this film. They got a great film director, Greta Gerwig. They got a ginormous cast. They got this giant IP. So how was the Barbie movie? I am happy to say that Barbie was a hilarious, colorful, delightful time. I had an absolute blast with Barbie. The first thing I want to talk about that really stood out for me was the production design. It is amazing. I loved it. It is so creative. It's so thought out. It was so colorful that I think I was getting a secondhand high from it. But it does remind me I do need to preference something. Even though I know what Barbie is, I picked up a few dolls in my life. I don't really know that much about Barbie. The reason I bring that up is because I hung out with my sister last weekend. And growing up with her, I knew she played with Barbie dolls. And she showed me pictures of the set design and certain costumes actors were wearing and telling me that, look, this is reference to this Barbie set, this playhouse, this costume she's wearing. It's all Easter eggs. It's all references to old Barbie things that we've seen in the past. To wrap up my point, what I'm trying to say is there are probably so many Easter eggs and references in this film that went completely over my head that I think people who have grown up playing with Barbie dolls are absolutely gonna go crazy for, they're gonna love it, and it's gonna make the experience so much more fun. Cause like I was saying in my screening, there are so many people dressed up in pink, so obviously Barbie meant a lot to them. And there are so many things thrown on the screen that everyone was just laughing and going, oh, look at that, that's awesome. And that's just something I love to see. And yes, you could say that's fan service and cheap parades and oh, I remember that. But for this film, it really works because this film really leans into the silliness of the story. This movie is so bizarre, but it works really well for what they're going for. This is one of the weirdest, most bizarre, silly movies I've seen in a very long time, and that's not a knock on the film, that's actually a compliment for it. Greta Gerwig clearly understands what she's got here, the story here, what she's trying to tell, because there is so much silliness in this film, but there are real themes about self-worth and identity and feminism and existentialism and all of that. And I really think she sticks to landing with it while also telling a hilarious and silly story here. And yes, this film is hilarious. This is one of the funniest films of the year and there are probably a bunch of jokes that went completely over my head because I don't understand all the Barbie Easter eggs and references but the jokes I did understand had me dying. And definitely one of the main reasons why this film is so funny is the cast. Margot Robbie is outstanding here. She is Barbie. I mean, when you're thinking of casting someone as Barbie, Margot Robbie. I'm glad they didn't overthink it they got Margot Robbie. And she kills it here. She does great in the comedic scenes, but there is a real story, as I was saying, about finding yourself and your self-worth and what you really want to do. And I think Margot Robbie perfectly balances the serious scenes and also the scenes where she's supposed to be really funny. And yes, Ryan Gosling can do no wrong. Ryan Gosling was so fucking funny in this movie. The thing about Ryan Gosling is we talk about how great of an actor he is. He can do some really serious roles and he's great in those roles. But honestly, I really think he shines best as a comedic actor with this in his performance in The Nice Guys, which is one of my favorite comedic performances of all time, he is truly one of the best comedic actors working today, and he crushes it in this film. He had me dying. What really surprised me about this film, though, is it feels unpredictable. There are things that happen I wasn't expecting. I thought I had an idea of where the story was going, 
And I was completely wrong. And honestly, good thing I was wrong because what they do here is so funny. But it also plays well into the overall themes this film is presenting. But I have to say it because you guys want my honest opinion. This film isn't perfect. It has some issues. And you're probably sitting there watching my video going, What? Barbie isn't perfect? Fuck you, Dave. <laughs> Yes, this film has some issues that I do want to talk about. First being, there is a subplot here that I feel like you should have taken out most of it. You can't take out all of it because there's something that happens halfway through the film with a character introduction, and there is some funny silliness to it. But I feel like after that happens halfway through the film, the point of them being there the rest of the film didn't really work. It almost was just an afterthought and almost a waste of time. Also, I love the silliness. I love the campiness of this film. It works most of the time. But I do feel like towards the end, there are some parts where I think they should have dialed it back just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Be like, okay, we're going to be a little bit more serious here. Just a tiny bit. I get the films going for the complete silliness and all of that. And like I said, it mostly works. But there are some scenes I just wish they dialed it back just a little bit. And the whole third act can feel a little messy. It feels like they're trying to jumble a lot of things together. And sometimes they have trouble balancing all those things. Like there are certain characters that are pulled off the side. And then in the spotlight for a while. But then other characters pull off the side. Felt like they're having trouble trying to balance everything. And also there's a choice at the end of the film. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's something I feel like I need some time to think about. But I just want to let you guys know, I'm a little indifferent on it right now. And also, I'm going to warn you now, there are going to be people that are going to absolutely hate this film. They're going to hate everything about it. They're going to hate everything that it's standing for. But honestly, who fucking cares? Because this film was a great time. And this is coming from someone who just knows what Barbie is. I think if you grew up with Barbie and play with Barbie dolls... There's so much here that you're going to absolutely love. Yes, it's not perfect. I had some issues, but this film was so much fun with the production design, the colors, the cast was amazing. The story really works here. And I really think Greta Gerwig made a delightful, weird, bizarre experience that honestly is going to stick with me for a while. I'm going to give Barbie 7.5 Davy Daves. Well, so far, a good start to the Barbie Heimer experience. I'm excited to see Oppenheimer this week. That is up next. I kind of wish I was seeing Oppenheimer first so that I can watch Barbie and be a little happier. I feel like I'm really happy right now, and then my Oppenheimer review is just going to be really depressing. But I guess we'll see. So, Barbie, let me know what you guys thought of it once you've seen it. I'm curious to hear, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more of Dave Dave Sticks.